Hello, this is David Dean, and I wanted to get this out to you as soon as possible. First of all, when you first come in to the pinatas section, you should have um, hopefully at least one legendary troll stash llama um, for free. And if you had a founder's account with friend codes on it, they switched those out to legendary troll stash llamas. And they also said in the patch notes, all existing founders will receive tokens based on their founders level in 5.0 as a thank you for being with us. Didn't know what tokens were, but when I came in with my account that I got the day one Fortnite came out, I had 20 free legendary troll stash llamas. And the big deal about that, and I didn't bother showing that because there's so much going on today, is that it gets me tickets. Each one of the legendary troll stash llamas gives you 500 tickets towards um, the new road trip llamas. And what's going on with the new road trip llamas? There is currently a bug that gives you double the event item that you get out of the llama. Um, I opened up a few on my other account, on my David Dean account, and I got two double-barreled shotguns and I got two sights. So, and it doesn't show up right away. Let's see, what did I get here? Okay, I got the new pistol, the duelist pistol, as epic. And we will just keep going through on this. And I should have just opened one llama just to show you the double, but we'll go ahead and open up the 10. And what do we get here? We got Sir Hootie as a club. And I have to admit, looking through this event, I absolutely love the heroes. There is four great heroes. I already did a video on them. Just a quick look in the collection book, and I will be putting up gameplay videos of them later. But the weapons, I'm just not that excited about, except for the double-barreled shotgun and the RPG, which is basically a cannon on your arm. So here we get a choice between the Duelist and the dra Copper Dragon. Originally, this was supposed to be Gazoomtite. Um, evidently, they changed up the name. But um, we'll grab that one. And let's see, we will just keep going. And he, come on, awesome. give me something good. And I can always use more survivors. Hopefully we'll get some more of those. And let's go. Don't need defenders. Survivor definitely can use it. And we get Copper Old Betsy. So at least I'm getting some different ones and actually um, a few legendaries, which is nice. Adios. So come on, let's get through this. And I, yeah, I don't think I've gotten a hero yet. There we go. Um, it's only rare, but I will take her. And not an invent hero. Vintage Tech, tech Penny just oh, seems like an pick. awesome constructor to play. Um, her perks are not focused towards her base, her constructor's base, as a lot of constructors are. She is focused towards doing da massive damage with her plasma pulse and helping out is her decoy. So let's go. Come on. Good. Another survivor. Legendary Sir Hootie. All right. It's a cool looking graphic. I like it. But no. All right. Give it another try here. All I want is one legendary event hero. That's all I want out of this. So come on. Oh. Jeez, we're doing good on the double barrel shotguns. We have gotten two of two epics out, of those please. and one legendary. Woo! Come on. Keep it going, keep it going. Nobody cares about the rares. Um there we copper fishing hook. Yay! And a defender. Alright, that llama was a bust. Alright, get through this, and then one more after it. Well, I am out of here. And hopefully that is still showing up. I had, um, I noticed it when I opened up llamas, and then on a video I did, somebody was asking about it. And there is the new Outlander, the Wild Fragment Did I, which looks amazing. Mr. Llama, at your service. And I do have to say, in the Challenge Horde, they added a new element of a shield shrinking on it like they have in battle royale which unfortunately is really going to affect melee um, characters in the game 
and another duelist. Jeez. All right. So not the best on variety. Let's see. I can still, wow, we can still get 10 more. But before we do that, I want to hop over to the armory. New stuff. So we have the copper pistol. We have a double on everything from the event, except for the one I got to pick from a split. So evidently, if you pick from a split, if you remember, I had this uh, choice between the legendary dragoon and the duelist pistol. And I chose the dragoon and I got one of it. But everywhere else that I got an event item, I got two of the duelists, I got two of old Betsy, two of Sir Hootie, and two of the double barrel epic, same thing down here. Two of the duelists, two of the scythe, two of the old Betsy, and two of Hootie. And let's see, we will come back to this and check out the perks, because hopefully some of these have some unique perks, but let's see if they're doing the same thing on heroes. Same thing, let's see. We have two of the Wild Fragment Dead Eyes. And let's see, here we did get the Vintage Tech Penny, but we only got her one time as a rare. Interesting. So knock out all those and we will go back and open up 10 more of these. Jeez, we're gonna get a ton of event items. All right. So, like I said, um, from this, I am mainly looking forward, since I already got the double barrel shotgun, all I really want is the legendary heroes from the event. Um, evidently, the um, RPG, the cannon, is um, not in the llamas. It looks like it will be something in the event store in the future. And if you did not hear, in the weekly event store, they're going to start putting in their perks and re-perks every week. So you can save up your seasonal gold to buy those. And come on. Ah. What do we get on the split? On the split, we already got, well, we already have both of these and quite a few of them. So we'll go with Old Betsy. Something good to throw into the collection book or to recycle. All right. But I am going to be putting up a video, um, a long video showing step by step my first play in a low level um, challenge the horde mission just showing you if bare base materials with only um, applying one skill point into materials how to build a structure and things you should focus on and then a running of that mission so once again they really like giving me that duelist pistol. Who doesn't love Unfortunately, on day one, I'm going to have every single weapon out of the llama. Kind of the same thing we had with the blockbuster one. <clears throat> Where right away I had the whisper pistol, I had the specter, and then really didn't want much else. Alright, there we go. Rio, first shot. And she gets um, some great bonuses. I believe her first shot does a crit automatically. And awesome. then when she reloads, it increases weapon speed. So, definitely a good hero. Come on, yeah, we got legendary. That's what I want. Vintage Tech Penny, and I will be doing some gameplay with her. Because I do believe she is going to be a more fun constructor to play than normal. Not just somebody throw down their base to protect your objective. All right, keep it going. Survivor, another old Betsy. And what do we got this time? Yeah, defenders, nobody cares. You can use defenders in your Challenge the Horde missions. I don't like them because they can um, shoot propane tanks, causing your trap tunnels to explode, mainly if you're using the shotgun um, defender. So I tend not to use them. If I see somebody putting down defender pads, then I go light on the trap tunnels. Because if they're going to get blown up, really don't want to put a bunch of resources towards them. All right. And then fish hook. Yay. So let's keep this going. Uh, open that up. Come on. Still need a legendary 
Outlander and Legendary Ninja. So let's get this. Yeah, old Betsy again. Jeez. I'm gonna have. Let's see. I think I'm already at over a half dozen of the old Betsy and Duelist pistols. Come on, come on. Get through this. I want to get back in there, challenge the horde. It is a fun event. Definitely something different. Another fish hook. Yay! All right. Oh no! Get this going. Come on. Well, I am out of here. And the new, let's see, ninja. A lot of his powers is focused on edged weapons, so the fish hook would be a good one for him. I'm not sure if he has any that are sword specific. I'd have to double check that. And we will be looking at that a little bit in this video. Eh, it doesn't matter. We have so many of them. So, but once again, it looks like if you pick the weapon on a split, you don't get double that weapon with the current bug going on. And we can still get one more. So we might as well do it while we're here. So 21 of these things opened up. And let's see what we can finish this off. Let's finish it off on something good. Come on, keep them coming. Come on, nah, I want legendary. What do we got? All right, so same thing as before. All right. So let's get through that. And let's get back into the game. All right. So we go back over to Armory and check it again. Once again. We're getting double there, double here, here, this one. Remember, we had one of these that came from a split, so you wouldn't be get, um, thinking get double there. And all, yeah, just on the last 10 um, llamas, I got five of the old Betsy's. Yay. All right. So, and geez, I got a ton of stuff to clear out. Um, heroes. And these, yeah, doubled up once again, doubled up on the Penny, and doubled up on the Rio, and even on the Epics. Let's see, nothing else. All right, and those are the only ones we really care about. And shoot, let's see. I don't think I got any of the Ninja. So let's hop out. I'm getting too many heroes. Sorry, I wanted schematics. Oh, so, oh, we got all those showing new. Don't care. Let's see what we're getting for perks on the new weapons. Um, two. Going through here, my inventory is getting way out of control. I got to clear out a bunch of this junk. All right, so old Betsy on one of them, getting five headshots in a row increases range weapon damage 30%. And I'll go in and look at the other ones. Here, five headshots in a row increases weapon damage on both of them. I would not think that's a static perk. I would hope not. So, let's see. And by static perk, I mean if you get more old Betsy's, hopefully one of them would have a different sixth. So, two. There we go. On these, damage dealt with this weapon snares a target and affliction. So, so far, the sixth perk is the same as what we've been seeing in the past. And for the double barrel shotgun, I know you guys probably saw it already. Flipped by it a few times. Yeah. Why is it not showing? Let's go back up. Here, yeah, the do, do, do. sorry, <laughs> there we go. Ah, that's why I didn't see it. I was looking at the pistols. All right, Dragoon damage dealt with this weapon snares target um, for 30%, which isn't a bad perk to have on it, but definitely not the perk I wanted. Um, let's look at this to see if there's anything um, different about it on reload. So it looks like we're getting the... Oh, no! This is a big thing, and this is what I was looking for. Um, this thing, even at its base level, level 1, has an impact of 2,250. Massive impact. 
and I love sending Husky Husk and Smashers flying and this one you can do a impact perk that is huge and I would definitely be doing an impact perk with this one and let's see slowed and snares since this one snares already you might as well put in the fifth perk damage to slow and snare targets so you're gonna shoot them you're gonna snare them which will slow them down 30 percent then you're gonna when you shoot them you're gonna have this massive impact hopefully sending them flying and then here reload speed on a double barrel shotgun is actually a huge thing because it only shoots two bullets and then you have to reload it so I'm almost more likely to go double reload speed so this thing is just fast as can be reload reload and doing massive damage and doing a widespread damage but it's more of a I would set it up more as a control weapon to keep doing that massive impact to keep sending the smashers and husky husk flying back and on mine what I would do a lot of times is angle my shot so I would be shooting them in a direction I want them to fly backwards into usually back into the trap tunnel so the trap tunnel is doing the main damage on them so that's just how I set up my double barrel shotgun and getting out so I want to see if that impact is on these other weapons will it let me go in here uh, I won't let me upgrade because of the lock on it so we will go quickly to Betsy see what it has and then we'll knock off some so you can see what the other one has modify perks um, let's see oh this one has a in the first slot fifth slot I don't think yeah usually there's three selections so you got weapon stability I don't know how stable this weapon is really need to go and test it out damage and crit rating uh, miss monsters that is normally in the fifth slot is in the fourth slot for some reason and you got headshot damage damage crit damage so this one has very different perks and it looks like all of these are gonna have impact damage which is a nice perk to have that I wish we had on all weapons and we'll have to check to see if they did do that so reload speed durability um, for me for sniper rifles I usually go just since usually I can get a one-shot kill with normal damage um, I usually go on it I just focus on main damage instead of going crit or on um, reload speed and that's your choice I would go damage and here impact ah. so impact is always nice to have mainly with um, shooting the um, blasters so they just cannot focus to do the blast and since they're not a damage here I would do the impact reload speed this thing has two, two let's see magazine size one so you're constantly reloading so in truth for a sniper rifle I may go reload speed on this and then yeah all right outstanding and let's check out the pistol if that's even possible and now this video is getting way longer than I wanted it to so batch recycle <laughs> no way we're getting it down quickly get rid of all of these and ah jeez this is going to take way too long Did it free it up nope not yet all right so we'll come back I'm gonna do a video on the pistol later anyway but it looks like they have impact on all of them and so just let you know get in there open up those llamas as fast as possible because you can get um, double event items going on right now take care have a great one